Hello, hello. Hey, I am Coach Ray Ann, and I'm going to show you guys how to make the easiest, super tasty detox soup. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to see everybody on there, so if you come in, if you wanna say hi, that'd be awesome. So I can say hey back to you. Awesome. All right, so I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy getting ready for this because there's a lot of prep work when you make veggie soup, but it doesn't have to be a lot. Hey, 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 I see people coming on, but I can't see who yet, so hi, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, guys, and Happy New Year, by the way. Woo, 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 little Happy New Year dance. Yeah, yeah, hi, Jillian, hi, I see you're on here. There's so many more people coming on, but I can't see who you are, so hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today on this New Year's Day that I keep thinking, um, I keep thinking it's Sunday and then I'm like, wait, it's Wednesday, that's so awesome, that means we have Friday, soon, again, right? Hey girl. All right, so what we're doing is I'm gonna teach you how to make veggie detox soup. Now it's actually turkey veggie detox soup. And if you've done my programs before, you will know, hi, hi Ellen, thanks for joining me. Um, now, if you've done any of my programs before, you've seen this recipe. So I know some of you have been asking for the recipe and it's coming, okay? But first I wanna show you that you don't even really need a recipe. Because for me, I'm one of those people that like I follow a recipe for like five seconds and then I'm like, eh, I'm gonna do what I wanna do with it. So that's kind of what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you why that's so easy and why you can make this soup the way you like it, the way, you know, your way, your own special way, put your own little flair on it, okay? Hi, Anita, hey, Charlie, hey, guys. All right, so, but before we get started, before I show you how to do this soup, I gotta, gotta talk to you about something really important, okay? And it's all about this New Year's crash dieting, right? I know. I know that you probably overate the last week or two or three or four, you know, the whole holiday binging. I know that probably that happened because I did it too. I mean, we're humans and food is fun. Food is tasty, food is social, food is our culture, food is our family, food is part of what we do and we should never feel ashamed of enjoying food, right? So. We do all this binging, right? And and when I say binge, I don't mean like sitting down and eating like an entire cake. I mean just overeating, okay? There's actual binging, but I'm talking about just the holiday, holiday binging or um, vacation binging or whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be around the holidays. It could be any time of the year. But we do this like overeating, and we do this thing where we're like, well, I only eat this at this time of year, so I'm gonna eat as much as I can before it's away, right? We do that. I, I'm sure you've done that. There's probably like a special cake or, or a meal that you have only at one time of the year. And it is fun and it's special and you should enjoy it. But when we have this thinking of like, I'm never gonna get it again, we tend to overeat it, okay? So that's one thing I wanted to point out, just to think about that a little bit. But here's the other thing. When we have these binge moments or these holiday eating moments, what happens is we end up having physical discomfort, right? So bloating, we feel um, achy joints, brain fog. We just feel kind of bad, not just physically, but we also feel bad mentally, right? So when you feel physically bad, it's kind of hard to think positive and it's hard to not feel mentally bad too. So when we overeat, we get dis you know discomfort physically, bloating, um, we actually feel puffy, I have people say, oh, I swear I look like I gained 20 pounds overnight. Well, you don't. I promise you don't look like that, and we can't. But, you know, we feel that way. And then what that does is it leads us to this feeling of, like, guilt and shame. Like, I can't believe I did that. I'm so bad. Why was I so bad? Why did I do that? I feel terrible. I'm so fat. And we go down this, like, spiral of, like, negativity, right? Have you done that before? Have any of you done that before? You can give me a little like if you have. And, and probably you have, and hopefully you don't do that often, but, but I talk to so many people that live in this like guilt and shame all the time, this mentality of like, I'm bad because I ate food that I like. And we shouldn't be bad. We're not bad people. We're not, nothing is bad about enjoying food. 
So what happens though, is we have the binge, we have the guilt, the physical discomfort, and then guess what we do? We wanna take action. We wanna take action and be proactive and not do it anymore. So we go on this super crash diet, right? We go on a crash diet, we um, go on a cleanse, we go on a detox, we try so hard to be good. You know, we're gonna be good and like do better and we're not gonna do that again, right? Charlie, you're not bad. <laughs> Okay, well, you might be bad in other ways, but I don't think you're a bad eater. So we have the binge, the bloat, the guilt, the shame. Then we go on this crash diet because we're gonna do it. And this time it's gonna be different. We're gonna lose the weight and we're not gonna eat bad, right? I bet you're with me. I bet every single person on here has had that feeling before, right? But then guess what happens? I bet you've noticed this too. You go on this diet, you're feeling good, and maybe even like three, four days go by, maybe even a couple weeks, and then all of a sudden you realize you're having discomfort in other ways, right? You're hungry, you're grumpy, you're having cravings out the wazoo, you totally are, you know, discomfort in a different way, right? And then your brain starts saying, why are you doing this? This isn't fun, this sucks, you better stop. And then you're like, ah, screw it. And guess what you do then? you go back to the binge. So we have this cycle, right? We got the binge, we got the bloat, we got the guilt, we got the total detox, major diet, and then we have, oh, guess what? Well, maybe a little weight loss and a little result, but then you're starving, you're hungry, you're craving, and then you're right back to eating again because you can't stand it, okay? Well, guess what? I hated that. I did it for years. I did it for years and years and years. And then finally, I figured out the trick. And this is what I work with clients on. I teach them the trick of stopping, breaking this cycle of binging, crash dieting, and binging again. So, the trick, the number one trick, and I'm gonna tell you right now, and then I'm gonna show you how to make this soup, okay? Because I know you're like, just get to the soup, lady. I know, because I watch videos and think that too. But the number one tip, okay, get your pencil out, or type it in your notes section on your phone, okay? The number one thing that you've got to stop doing to change and break this cycle, you're gonna be really excited to hear this. <laughs> it's not a pill, okay? It's not a potion. It is, you've got to stop feeling guilt. You've gotta stop feeling guilt and shame for the things that you do. How you think and how you feel is exactly how you're going to either continue the cycle or break the cycle, okay? If you tell yourself you're bad and you have guilt and you shame and you work and you just think about that, guess what? You're gonna continue the cycle, okay? You're gonna continue the cycle. But if you stop blaming yourself and stop the guilt and stop the shame and start thinking of solutions other than crash dieting and detoxing and cleansing, you can and you will break this cycle. I know you can because I know I did it, okay? So I'm gonna show you, that's all for now. And by the way, I'm gonna be doing a lot of lives. You're gonna probably get sick of this face here because I'm going to be doing a live almost every single day in 2020. I almost said 2016. I'm like, whoa, where am I? <laughs> so in 2020, you're gonna see a lot of me, a lot of tips, a lot of cooking, a lot of stuff, okay? so. So get ready. All right, we, um, so now that we're past the binge cycle, we're gonna go into the cooking, okay? All right, so first up, let me show you. Hi, Erica. Hi, Heather. There's several of you guys on here. All right, what I did is I prepared, I kind of pre-chopped some veggies. I already cooked the meat. Um, what we're talking about is turkey and veggie detox soup. Now, I hate that name. I cannot lie to you, I hate the name Detox Soup because this is just soup. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people like it when you call it Detox Soup. And guess what? It is full of fiber and protein and water, which is amazing for when you're trying to lose weight, stay full, and drop the cravings. So that is why this is such a popular recipe and why I use it all the time for myself. I use it all the time with clients. It's always, always in my challenges, so you could check out the New Year challenge and see what you think. But, but here's the thing, it's so easy to tweak and make your own. So I call it turkey, 
veggie detox soup. So you can, let me start with the meat. I have cooked, let me see. I haven't quite figured out how to do this whole filming thing yet, so bear with me a little bit, please. All right, I'm gonna take my phone off of here for a second. Hang on, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you my face, but not for long, hang on. All right, so what I've done is I've taken a pound, okay, a pound of ground turkey and two small onions. I diced up the onions and I just sauteed, you know, just cooked them up with the ground turkey. Okay, so one thing that you can do to change this is you don't have to use ground turkey. You could use um, ground chicken. You could use ground beef, like a really lean ground beef or ground bison. Um, you just want to stay really lean because you want this to be healthy for you and we want it to help flush our toxins, you know, if you're using it as a detox. Okay, so come on over here with me. So that was the, that's how I started this. And then what I did is I chopped up a bunch of other veggies, and I'm going to show you that too, okay? I will send out the recipe, and if you already have the recipe, you're going to be like, well, that's not really what it looks like, but here's the thing. You can use any vegetable that you like, any vegetable. So I believe, and I haven't even looked at my recipe in so long because I make up my own, and sometimes I just use whatever I have in the fridge because it's that easy, you guys. So I think the recipe that I have has like green beans and zucchini and cabbage, but I didn't want that today. So what I did is I chopped up, um, well, I already did the onion. It's already in there. I like to cook the onion with the meat because it just flavors it well and it gets the onion nice and soft. But then I have um, several stalks of, what's that? <laughs> I'm having a moment. Celery. <laughs> That's celery, the green stuff. And then I chopped up several whole carrots, okay? And then I did a yellow and a red bell pepper because I love that. And then I did about four cloves of garlic. Now you don't have to do fresh garlic if you don't want. You could also just do like garlic powder if you don't have the garlic on hand. But I love fresh garlic, probably too much. And then we're gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes, a big, a big one, okay? And then some chicken broth and then our seasonings and then um, oh, by the way, some spinach. I forgot to chop it up, and I remembered it at the last second. So we'll add that in very, very last, okay? But then salt and pepper. <coughs> excuse me. I need to talk about salt and pepper for just a second. If you're truly using this um, as a detox, then you're going to want to really reduce the sodium. So you're going to be really careful with how much salt you use, okay? And you can load up on the pepper if you want. So that's totally optional. In fact, sometimes I leave it out of cooking and I just add it as needed to my bowl when I'm, when I'm cooking. And then another thing I want you to know is the um, basil, or I'm sorry, what I use is just Italian mix seasoning, but I love basil, so I got some dry basil and I add a ton of that too. You could do fresh herbs as well. So there's so many ways that you can make this your own. Okay, so... Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add, hang on. Um, I'm going to add all of this into the pot because this is literally you guys, how easy it is. You cook up the meat and then you take your chopping board full of veggies. Okay. And you do this. Hang on. Do, do, do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but here it goes. I'm literally just popping it into the pan. Now, really quick, oh no, it's also going on the floor. And guess what, my dogs will not eat this. They don't want any veggies, little stinkers. They'll, they'll eat anything else I drop on the floor, but not veggies. I see something I wanna point out. You know like an, on the celery sticks, how like some of them have that like leafy stuff? Well, growing up, I always cut that off. That's what I thought, I thought it was just like bad. You guys, use it. It has so much amazing flavor and it will just give you lots and lots of good flavor in any dish that you use celery, okay? So make sure that you use that. So here we are, we're just throwing in all of the veggies. Okay, actually I'm gonna hold off. Well, now I'm gonna add it, okay? Adding in everything, okay? So there we go. My lovely assistant just joined me. He's still in his pajamas, so I'm not gonna show him. Okay, so then all I'm gonna do is mix it, okay? That's all we're done. So you got your meat and onions, all your veggies, veggies of choice, veggies of choice, okay? 
And, oh, you know what? I had this on low, so let's cook it up a little bit. So here's the thing. The thing with soup is it's kind of better low and slow, you know? So you're gonna put in all these veggies, and I like to brown the veggies for a little while, okay? So I'm just gonna let that cook for just a little bit, okay? And of course, I'm not gonna finish this with you guys here on with me because you don't wanna sit here for another hour. <laughs> because here's the thing, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cook that for a little bit longer to just kind of mold the flavors together. And if you use a cast iron pan, you know how it kind of gets like crispy on the bottom and browned? That gives it so much flavor, okay? Especially with the onions and the celery in there and the carrots. So you know like onion, carrot, and celery is a great base to start all soups with because of the flavor. It's called a mirepoix or something like that. Some word that I don't know how to pronounce. But it's a great way um, to start any base. So I definitely recommend that. So really quick, let's do a review. We have any kind of lean meat, okay? Or, 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 if you don't do meat, leave it out. Just make it veggie. Or if you wanna up the protein a little bit, which I highly recommend, and maybe you don't eat meat, you could add chickpeas, okay, or, or beans. Uh, but try to pick a bean that's higher in um, protein, okay? Chickpeas are a great one, and they're, they're solid, and it'll give it that meaty um, texture, okay? Then, um, so after this cooks for, it's like sounding so good. Can you guys hear it? Sizzling, sizzling, sizzling baby. <laughs> All right, so hang on. I just gotta stir it around a little bit. I don't want you guys to get bored, so I'm gonna hurry up, but um, hang on. So we got the meat. Okay, remember I was reviewing and then I got distracted. So here I go again. I just wanna do a quick stir. I heard the sizzling and I had to get back to it. So you can do any meat that you want, okay, or beans. Okay. Remember though, when you use beans, that's adding more starchy carb to your meal. So that's okay. That's totally fine. But if you um, are somebody that wants to go a little bit lower on the carb side, or maybe you um, diabetics um, or people just with um, you know blood sugar issues, or maybe you just like to follow a low carb diet, then I would just reduce how many beans you use or other starchy carbs in the soup. The main idea of this soup is that it's a protein a veggie and water. And the water would be like the water from the vegetables, but also from the broth, which I always buy, and I shouldn't show a brand, but, um, hang on. <laughs> I'm not showing the brand. What? It's, um, it's unsalted is what I'm trying to show you. So if you look at um, chicken broth and veggie broth, if you don't buy the lower sodium or unsalted, it is crazy high in sodium, okay? So you really wanna watch that, especially if you're trying to um, de-bloat from the holidays, right? So make sure you um, get a low sodium or unsalted version. Um, oh, you guys, this is starting to look beautiful. Okay, do you wanna see it? Do you wanna see it? Okay, hang on. It's looking great. And see what I mean by using a cast iron pan? If you don't have one, it's totally fine. But see there's like that good like browning happening in there. Ooh, that gives flavor and seasoning. It is yummy. I totally wish I would have gone to like cooking school. So you never know. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be going to cooking school. Going to culinary school as a 50 year old. <laughs> Actually, I'm not 50 yet. Don't, don't get that wrong. All right, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so we got the meat. Um, we got the meat, we got the veggies, we're browning it. So remember, you can use any meat you want or any like different beans or whatever, or no meat, no beans. Now I'm gonna add my can of whoop, diced tomatoes, okay? Now probably I would normally cook this longer before I added the tomatoes, but this gives it some um, moisture. So I'm just gonna stir that in there. Mm. You guys, it smells amazing too. Okay, but because I wanna hurry up a little bit for you guys, cause you have other things to do on New, Year Day, New Year's Day, um, let me show you. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. All right, um, Brian, I need a, 
I forgot to do some. I need a, a cutting board and a knife because I need to chop up the spinach. But also we're gonna talk about the seasoning. So here's another thing. I told you earlier that I don't follow recipes very good because I just like to do what I like to do. Can you open that? Because never mind. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add all of this seasoning, okay? So I told you I'm just doing an Italian seasoning, but here's the cool thing. You could make this Italian style. So I'm doing Italian seasoning and I'm adding extra basil because I just like it. Um, but you could also make it like a Tex-Mex. You could do chili powder, cumin, paprika, oregano, um, what else, garlic. We already have that garlic and onion in there. You could also make this more like Indian flavors. So you could do like some curry. You could do, um, I don't know, you could just like really play with it, okay? So maybe one week you make it and try it Mexican style. And then the next week you make Italian style. You can just play with it and make it different ways so that you always feel like you have a new way to enjoy the really good soup, okay? You could also keep switching up the different kind of meats. You can switch up the different kind of vegetables. Now the vegetables I'm using today, I think would go awesome with a Mexican because of the um, Mexican seasoning, because of the peppers. It'd be like kind of like fajita style. So you can do so much. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just dump in. So, so if you need a measurement, you can check the recipe when I send it. But I'm gonna do, hmm, I don't know, like about, a tablespoon or three I don't know here hang on I'm trying to flip over all right so here it is I'm literally gonna do this until it looks about how I like it okay and then I'm gonna take this dry basil I'm sorry I'm shaky trying to hold this shaking shaking some basil in there because you can't go wrong with a little basil sweetness of the basil and then we're stirring it up stirring it up Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is add in um, the chicken broth and let it simmer for a while, okay? And then before we go, I'm just gonna chop up some spinach and throw it in too so you can see what it looks like, okay? Actually, let me put the, can you open that? Brian's gonna open up the um, broth for me, that's fine, okay? So here we go with our unsalted chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth, you could use beef broth. Again, make it your own. And look how easy, 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 easy. Now you may want more broth than that. And by the way, this will last like a week, okay? So I noticed that sometimes I have to add more broth by the end of the week because it just gets um, absorbed into the vegetables, which is awesome because more flavor. So throughout the week, you may want to um, you know, just add more broth to it, okay? The other th really great thing about this is that um, what you do, how we, how we use it in our house is I make it on a Sunday or whatever day, usually it's a Sunday, because I like to do it when there's a day or a time where I'm just like hanging out and because I do like to simmer it for quite a while. Now it's totally up to you how long you simmer it, but um, I keep stepping on a carrot that I dropped it's really annoying um but you decide how long you want it cooked I like the vegetables to be softer because and so do my kids so really if the kids eat it that way then that's the way to go for it right but I like to be able to, to like eat the softer I don't want them real crunchy so if you like them crunchier then don't cook it as long okay then I'm gonna throw in so anyway I started to say I cook this on a Sunday or, or sometimes midweek and then like today Okay, and I keep it in a big container, sometimes just in the pot, if you have room in your um, fridge, just keep it covered. And then I have it either for lunch or for dinner, like tonight, this will be dinner, okay, because it's ready, but tomorrow it will be lunch, okay? Pretty much just for me though. So if you wanted everybody in your house to have it every day for lunch, then you would need to make more or double the batch, okay? But um, but it's really so easy, so healthy, so filling. And then what I do, um, I don't really eat a lot of dairy, but I do eat some um, goat cheese. And you guys, let me just tell you, if you crumble some goat cheese on this, whew, it is so good, okay? So I just chopped up, I need to do more, but this is all I'm gonna do for now. I just chopped up, 
um, some spinach. And what I'm gonna do when I'm ready, I'm not gonna do it quite yet because I'm not ready for it. I'm just gonna put it in, stir it around, it'll wilt, and it just looks so pretty. And it adds some nutrients and some more green and some more fiber. Um, and that's it, that's it. And like I told you, I'm gonna, personally, I'm gonna add um, the salt and the pepper in the individual servings. Because then everybody has an opportunity to add what they need or don't need, okay? So I turned off the comments there for a while because I was getting too distracted. So now I'm gonna come back and see if you guys have any questions. Hey, Dara. Hey, Katie. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so re really, 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 really quick review. Remember, it's okay that you ate food. It's okay. You're not a bad person. You're not, you didn't blow up overnight, I promise. So you can't undo what you already have done in the past. But what you can do is make either better choices or think better going forward, okay? So don't spend today thinking about, oh, I need to exercise too much, I need more exercise, more exercise, more exercise, or I can't eat today, I can't eat today because I was so bad. Stop that thinking and think, wow, those were great holidays, and wow, I had some great food, but I'm ready to treat my body better this time. So I'm gonna move forward and eat lots of veggies and healthy lean protein and drink lots of water and get some exercise sessions in. And that's how I believe, that's how I coach my clients. Our life is too short, you guys, to spend so much time anguishing over what our body looks like, over what we're feeding ourselves. So live your life, enjoy the food you eat, just make better choices. And I promise you, if you start feeling better in your brain and how you treat yourself, you're gonna start automatically making better choices. Okay, and I hope that this detox soup can be part of your healthy toolbox, okay? So thank you guys so much for joining me. I, I want you to know that um, I am opening up my Ram Life membership. I don't always open it up for new members, but I'm doing something different this year and all of January I'm gonna be promoting my membership group. So if you're interested, please let me know and I'll send you a link. Unfortunately, I sent out an email today and the links are not working and that is just the way it goes so instead of freaking out about it I'm just gonna work on it and get the information to you as best I can but please check it out if you need help if you want to live a healthier happier sane life then I would love to work with you because I truly believe that you can accomplish what you want and not feel deprived and not feel restricted and still have a happy fun life okay so thanks again you guys hi Amanda hi Tommy hi Kathy and I am definitely gonna, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna send the, if you're on my email list, I'm sending the email um, with the recipe. Um, and and I will be putting it on a blog. So there's pl plenty of places you're gonna be able to grab it um, the end of this week, okay? So thank you guys, and I will, oh, like I told you, you're gonna be seeing a lot of me. So watch what you want to and don't watch what you don't want to, all right? <laughs> Happy New Year, have a good one, bye.